Good morning, YouTube. Um, today is day 13 of my OptiFast diet. Uh, thank God I'm done tomorrow, but I am down 16 pounds so far. Um, tomorrow will be my last day of OptiFast. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, but then I have to get through the weekend of clear fluids. Nothing but clear fluids. I'm not overly excited about that. But, you know, it's only two days. I can do it. So, my surgery's on Monday morning. First thing, um, I, I did all my pre-op testing the day before yesterday. So I met with the pharmacist for some reason he was that was useless um, met with the pharmacist a nurse a lab tech and the anesthesiologist so um, that's it's ready to go I'm ready to show up and have my surgery on Monday morning um, I still have sorry I have marks on my face from the CPAP machine I got my CPAP machine last week so I've been trying to sleep with it the first probably four nights um, I ended up clawing it off my face in the middle of the night, and a lot of the times I, I just thought I was dreaming. Um, but the last two nights I've slept straight through with it on, and the difference is incredible. I, I can't I believe the difference. I know. Okay, go play with those. Um, <coughs> I'm not tired during the day. I wake up feeling like it's time to get up, whereas before I woke up just sort of dragging my butt out of bed. I wanted to go back to sleep. But um, I feel better. Um, my throat's a little dry. I guess i got to adjust the humidity and stuff, but I'll work with that. I have to bring that machine to the hospital with me when I go. And they're going to put me in a special bed after. It's called a step-down bed. So if you have a CPAP, and if you're new with it, like I've only had it less than, well, a week today. And if you're new with it, they put you in a step-down bed, which is one level of care below ICU. So... Get a little bit of one-on-one -on -one attention just to make sure your oxygen levels don't fall when you're sedated. So, you know what? Whatever they got to do. So, I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about Monday. I, uh, I can't believe this, this road is almost over. And I know that this doesn't end here, that I've got a whole lot I have to worry about afterwards, but it's the waiting. I'm just so glad that this waiting part will be over. And then I can focus on my food intake and my fluid intake and, and, and go with those steps. It'll just be nice to not be waiting for a change because I've been waiting for, what, 13 months? Almost 14 months for this for this day and it's almost here. So it's going to be a pretty eventful weekend. My little boy goes to beaver camp this weekend, <coughs> his very first one, so that's pretty exciting. So while he's gone, I'll be preparing for me to go on Monday, or well, we're going to leave on Sunday. The hospital's almost almost two hours away, so we're going to leave Sunday evening in the, you know, traffic, so whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to leave Sunday evening, stay in a hotel Sunday night, and um, we'll be at the hospital for 6 a.m. Monday morning. And... Uh, Get this ball rolling. I can't believe I'm down 16 pounds. That's just, just crazy to me. I don't notice the difference, though. I don't see the difference, but I don't know. That's why I'm doing these videos, so I can look back and... Sorry, I'm looking at my face because I don't see a difference. Um, <coughs> I'll look back at these videos as time goes on. I think post-op I'll probably do updates probably every couple of weeks, unless something happens or unless I have complications or something. I'll probably update every couple of weeks. Um, just so I can see that progressive change. So I've got to take my, I've t taken a couple of pre-op pictures, but nothing full body. So I'm going to do those um, before I leave for the hospital. So day 13 of OptiFast, guys. If you're in the middle of OptiFast, keep it up. It does end. I'm not going to say it gets better because it doesn't, but it ends. It will end. So, I mean, I'm still hungry. I had a bite of a cheese string the other day. I just, I needed something. And it was just a little bite of a cheese string. <coughs> but, um, you know, that's just me. I'm not encouraging people to cheat on it. I'm just messing up. So, um, that's it for today, guys. I don't think there's anything else. So, it's a rainy, yucky day. i got some stuff to do. I will check in. My surgery's Monday. You know what? I'll see you after surgery. So this is it for me. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the other side. Save some room on the bench, on the loser's bench. And uh, I will meet you there. <coughs> Take care, guys. Bye.